sense of the word um is uh you know as the as the bio says she's a feminist she's a mother mm -hmm. philanthropist uh, activist and so many other is but <laughs> you know the, the bottom line is um you know every time i've in, i've come in com in, in contact with amber she's just been a beautiful person uh miss amber you. Rhodes is here how you feeling I'm good, you guys. Thank you for having me. Welcome to the show. And uh, speaking of shows, July 8th, yeah, they, they, VH1. They got a gun now out here. Yes. Let's get right to it. Let's not waste <laughs> no time. The Amber Rose Show. How did this show come about? Um, well, I uh, I did a segment on the doctors about slut shaming, mm -hmm. which I am very passionate about. And um, it's like my whole movement. And the doctors is under Dr. Phil. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Phil seen it and now he's like totally obsessed with me. And he gave me a show, which mm -hmm. is like fucking cool. Right. Anybody, yeah. Dr. Phil, anybody would give you a show. <laughs> <laughs> you want a show? <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just like Oprah co-signed Dr. Phil and now he's co-signing me. So that makes me like super legit. But well, here's the thing. Seriously, you know, after all these interviews and, 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 and guest spots, uh, you, you know, being on Larry King and everything, is is it now the time for you to have a show? You know what I'm saying? Like, like okay, I, yeah, I, I've absolutely. done everybody else's show. I've, I, I've guest appeared on, on people's show. You know, I could do this. Was that the mindset? Yeah, I mean, yeah, because I, I hosted Larry King's show, and yeah. not a lot of people can say that. Mm -hmm. Um and that was just from doing his show and saying like, and him just like falling in love with me. Um, and that then tends it just to happen. happens. Yeah, <laughs> time to time. No, it's just like you know, um, in a falling in love in a really cool way, not in an instant no, no, way, no, no, obviously. No, no. But um, yeah, and so and then the same thing happened with Dr. Phil. So mm -hmm. we're both in the business of helping people, and we just do it in different ways. Mm -hmm. And um, and now I have my show under Dr. Phil. Now, what's mm -hmm. the show going to be about? The show is going to be um, very sex positive. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about sex and relationships. It's That's the 11 be... p.m. time slot. Yes, mm -hmm. and it's on cable, so I could say whatever the fuck I want, which okay. is awesome. And um, yeah, and then you know I interview celebrities over the years. I made a lot of celebrity friends, a lot of cool people that are just like, "Yo, Mava got a show. Hell yeah, I'm coming mm -hmm. on," and they're really looking out for me. Um, by by coming on my show, cause you know the first season, first season of a talk show, a lot of people don't want to go on because mm -hmm. they're just yeah. like, I don't know if this is gonna be good. Yeah. Um, but they're they're doing it for my. No, but so. late night is, a, is 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 just the most competitive environment. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. Especially the the, the the time slot that you're gonna be in. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some heavy hitters mm -hmm. in, in 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 um, you know, uh, a late night show as it pertains to sex. Do you find that area? Well, it's not, it's not just you, sex, mm -hmm. but but yes, that that is the element. That's like yeah. the premise of it. Sexy. Um, you know it. It listen, I I, I and I've said this before. Mm -hmm. It's the first season, right? Mm -hmm. So now it's trial and error, mm -hmm. right? So initially, that's what it's going to be. Now it's going to be a whole segment of sex and rela relationship mm -hmm. uh, questions. And then it's interviewing celebrities and asking them also intimate and personal questions. And then it's a celebrity gossip um, aspect of it where, you know, we talk about what's going on on the Internet. But mm -hmm. from my perspective, because I actually live that bullshit right. that's on the Internet. Right. And, so I know saying, the people, you know, yeah, and they're my peers. Right. So I'm not, you know, and I love Wendy and there's no diss to Wendy, but. Wendy's very malicious and shady, right? And it's also very entertaining. But I come from a different perspective where people be like, oh, wow, I never even thought about it that way. Because mm. you don't know what it's like to be famous until you're actually famous, right? But in the so. traditional sense of a talk show, now, now people are going to be coming out there busting out rapping and shit like that, like the, the old Arsenio Hall show, they're going to be performing and stuff like that? Or live studio like, audience. You know? Yeah, live studio audience. Um, No, we don't have musical guests. Okay. Um, we have musical celebrity guests as far as interviews, yeah. but we don't have enough time. And that's why I said, like, it is the first season, mm -hmm. so we're going to figure it out along the way. But mm -hmm. as it is now, it's fucking amazing, man. I mean, like, for VH1 to come in and say, Amber, you're perfect. We have no notes for you. It is literally perfect how it is. Mm -hmm. For a, such a... a, a a network like that to say like, well, we want to change this. We want to make it like this. We want to do it like this. They literally said my show is perfect and you can't get 
you can't get it better than that. Mm. It is. 877 hip hop We got Amber Rose joining us tonight on the Sergeant OQ review. Get mm-hmm. at us at Sergeant OQ. More up next. That's Hip Hop Nation. Amber, hey. Amber, can I tell you something? Yes, my the love. The first time. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. Oh, my God. You know, but gush. here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Here's our first interaction. Our first interaction, and I know you meet a million people. Our first interaction, I was at a concert um, of your former husband. Yeah, Wiz. With Wiz and um, my bestie, your bestie, mm-hmm. and um, we were backstage, and you know, the smoke was, there, of course, of course, <laughs> but <laughs> so here's, appropriate. But here's the thing, though, you know, and 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 I, and you you were married at the time, and I like a like everybody in the room was we were trying to we were trying to look down, we were look, trying to look around the room, but you I just, fucking uh, hate that, by the way. You notice that when people like I'm I noticed that, yeah, especially when I was, I was getting married. Glimpses and shit, like, I don't know, I, I, no, I'm gonna let you finish your thought, but like. It's so difficult because I'm such a personable person mm. and I like to have like conversation like, yeah, how's the kids? What's going on? Blah, 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 blah. Kids is good. And then it's like, <laughs> but then it's like, it's like, yeah, everybody's good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, why are you not looking at me? Okay. And that was you. That was me. Okay. I tried, so to, I tried to look at the mac and cheese and everything. Like, I, 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 tried, <laughs> I did the buffet like two times, but that, uh, but anyway, the, sh- the new show, VH1. VH1, the Amber Rose show, <laughs> July 8th. You know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about seriously. I want, I want to go back because you mentioned other talk talk platforms. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about tone, and like you said, you've been on the other end of some. And I'm an energy person now. All yeah. of a sudden, I've, I've I've gotten into this energy karma phase in my life. What's going to be the tone of the things that you're going to be talking about? You know, in such a malicious and vicious environment. As social media and and, 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 and and all these other platforms are. Well, I'm a very positive person. Um, I feel like it was only in me defending myself. Yeah. I never, I don't start trouble with anybody. I'm really like just cool. I'm just like a down home Philly chick. Mm-hmm. I get along with everybody. Anybody that meets me loves me. Um, so like that's what my show is going to be about. Even when we talk about sex and relationships, it really is a no judgment zone. Um, there's things that I haven't heard before. I can't say, like, mm-hmm. I've heard everything, so nothing will shock me. S- there's some things I haven't heard before, and I've witnessed that filming my show. But it's really, it's in a really cool fucking way because I'm learning as well. Um, and uh, and I'm not judgy, you know? It's just like, wow, that's not my thing, but that's fucking cool that you're into that, and I think you should go with it. You know? I'm, just, I'm just curious because, you know, VH1, uh, of course, you know, they uh, come to, I mean, I remember back in the day, it was like kind of like a classic rock, you know, show. Rock yeah, videos, yeah, and I remember it, that. It, you know, materialized into now, you know, you have the, you know, basketball wives, you have the loving hip hops or whatnot. You know, um, why not a reality show for you? Um, Not that I don't enjoy watching reality. Oh, yeah. Um, it's just not my thing. You know, I... I think that people could really get to know my personality uh, on a talk show Mm -hmm. without involving my mom and my son. And Mm -hmm. like, it's like I already have the burden of being famous and dealing with bullshit. I don't want my family to be famous as Mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Um, It's just not my thing. Okay, that's what I'm really excited about this uh, talk show coming up. Thank you. I hope you really enjoy it. Now, you you know, one of the monikers that you know that you trumpet is feminism, Mm -hmm. and I was just wondering, you know. I know how feminism, feminism used to look in the seventies, and yeah. you know, and, and and you know, but has feminism taken on a new a new cool mm-hmm. with with someone someone like you at the helm of it, you know, and and actually has it reverted back to objective ob- objectivism in that we're looking at at you as a sexual object. I'm, uh, it's a contrast. Well, I mean, when, when people you. look at me as a sexual object, that's them. Mm-hmm. That's not me. I'm not asking for that, right? So, like, I have extremely big breasts. People don't know that. I wear a 34 quadruple D, natural. That is something I can't hide. So, if I wear a shirt that is maybe a little low cut, it's like, oh, she's wearing that to entice me. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing it. Because it fits nice and I just have big titties and I just can't fucking help it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's never like, well, why do you dress like that? And why My body is very curvy as well. And that is very enticing to a lot of men. For me, 
when I walk into a room and there's a bunch of guys, I'm not saying, hey, I want to fuck him, 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 and him. I'm saying, like, hey, guys, what's going on? I'm here. How you doing? My name's Amber. You know, it's never, like, that really type of situation until I say, hey, I want to fuck you, or, hey, I want to get to know you, Mm -hmm. or, yo, what's your number? You single? Until I say that, you should not even remotely think that I'm attracted to you or or want to have sex with you. And that and that is what slut walk is about. Mm. Um and w- I'm sorry, go back to no, the no, no, initial no. no, I'm just I'm, I'm just trying to understand, mm-hmm. you know, in tying in the slut walk and yeah. tying in feminism, you know, I I, I think particularly for in, in our country cuz I have been to other countries where sex is not just as as you know, I've been to Panama and Panama is a hot country and people dress a certain kind of way just because it's hot. Yeah. You understand? So now I think that there's going to be a, a, a the battle that that I think Americans and, mm-hmm. and I'm, I, don't, I, can, I can only speak for us yeah. have in w- with the with the contradictions that we're seeing in our own Americana minds mm-hmm. are okay this lady is 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 real explicit with her sexual sexuality mm-hmm. and okay does that does that make you uncomfortable I'm, I'm, uh, no 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 it doesn't make me uncomfortable more than I'm trying to understand the mentality of okay. How can we focus on the rights of women and in, in, in traditional feminism when we're still looking at women as ob- objects? Mm. Well, you gotta right, ask, right, wrong, or indifferent. Well, yeah, well, you gotta ask yourself that, and not you personally, but ask other men. But you know, that, this, this is a, this is United States of America, and it yeah. has its values, you, and and its so-called value system. <laughs> right, wrong, or indifferent. Mm. Uh, no, it doesn't. I mean, that's society putting that in your head, right? Or your parents, how they raised you, mm-hmm. right? So, um, <laughs> it's so it's it's funny because it's u- usually the people, and this this is not about you personally, mm-hmm. but it's usually the people that are very judgy are the ones that are like into like foot fetishes and like having shit like <laughs> girls shit on their chest and like into like you know super kinky shit you know and then they want to be like judgy and i went to church my whole life and you're you're promiscuous because you had sex with two guys in a week but they're getting shit um on, yeah. they're, and they're getting shit it. on um no judgment zone no. from from me um whatever you're into that that's cool but um you know as far as um embracing my hoisms um, I do that for a reason because the mm-hmm. reason why men call women hoes and sluts is because they're very uncomfortable with a woman's sexuality and they have to instantly down them and make them inferior, right? So there's no other reason to call a woman a, a, a hoe or a slut. It's only because she had sex or did a sexual act. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? So that's the only reason why you would call her a slut or a hoe, correct? Because we're dealing with this dynamic, particularly in hip-hop. Mm-hmm. You know, this is hip-hop station. And yeah. I'm, and I'm, I'm going to keep it a, a, a buck with you. Please. It's please just, do. It's a bunch of uh, uh, contradictions because we have sisters and mothers and daughters and everything like that. But then we have, you know, you have to play a song. Like, we like, like we have a controversial song that we got to deal with right now. Rick Ross. Same, same hoes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, and it's, it's like okay, whack. do we do do we play that record if if, if the beat's hot or whatever I, the case I may be? I personally don't think you should. No, I don't think you should because you do have mothers and sisters, and you know what I say to a lot of guys is that if you think about the act it took your mother to have you, right? Your dad came inside your mom, raw dog. And like she Still like married, God damn it. she like you know <laughs> fucked your dad. And if you have a stepdad they and have love. brothers and sisters, mm-hmm. um, your mom got fucked again by a different guy. So, no, 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 no. We all have the same name. I'm, uh, about I'm just saying. I'm she probably came. Nine so. out of ten, she <laughs> asked for jizz on her face, yeah. and she was like, you know, really into missionary. Oh, back shots, all that. Sit but listen, yeah. the bottom line is, is that your mothers are sexual beings, right? Your sisters are sexual sense. beings. You know? Yeah. yeah, I mean, listen. Are, you, are your, is your mother and father still married? Yes. At, wonderful for you. Um, that's not usually how it is, especially it. in America. Um, and we are all sexual beings. I know I have friends and their moms... Um, you know, they have, they have brothers and sisters from their moms with, like, a couple different mm-hmm. men. Mm-hmm. Their moms are also, like... 
60 years old and it's just mm-hmm. like, hey, if I want to have more children and it doesn't work out with my husband, I'm going to find another guy and have some more children. Um, it doesn't make her a hoe. That's still somebody's mother. And just remember, every time you call a girl a hoe and a slut, mm-hmm. that is someone's daughter. If you have a daughter, you you should understand that more than anything. I get that. That your daughter might do some hoe shit one day. God and forbid. that is okay. Yeah. But you can but, say God forbid, but she will definitely have sex. Exactly. With I, more than one guy. And come. <laughs> no. no. Have, I'm but, just saying. Let, but let's, let's bring it back home to hip hop. Mm-hmm. Because, like I'm saying, we're in a situation in a time right now mm-hmm. and where awareness we we can't just, just just go by the two live crew thing and 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 and, and it was early in the um in, in the culture, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> like, what's your personal dynamic with with the culture and saying, you know what? Damn, in 2016, we're still using bitch hole. Well, if you just think about, and I know, I know, I know in hip hop that you know, uh, gay people aren't that cool in hip hop, but um, I think they're fucking amazing. And I will say this, you know, the gay community banded together and said, you know what, you're not going to call us faggots anymore because we're killing ourselves, and it's an extreme form of bullying, right? And then when you hear a rapper say faggot, it is literally offensive now. In the old songs sound Yeah, mm-hmm. sounds in the crazy, old songs yeah. you hear faggot and you're just like, whoa. whoa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? So eventually what my what I'm trying to do is do the same thing for women, right? So, you know, in 2025, um, maybe it's like, oh, my God, they used to say ho. back. Same hoes was out in 2016. Um, and I'm... I'm yeah, but doesn't that doesn't that gonna be this outcry with this? Like let's let's take the song that we're talking about in particular, the same hoes. Mm-hmm. That's not gonna be a out this type of outcry. We're not gonna have a slut walk to say, you know what? Let's ban this song, or will we? I will. Mm. Um, I for sure will. Um, and then also, you know, when it comes to like, we fucked this girl, and we fucked this girl, we fucked the same hoes. It's just like, well, the same hoes fucked you, and nine out of ten, you came. And they didn't. So if I Damn. fuck you and you come, that means I fucked you. You didn't fuck me. I didn't come. Mm. I didn't get what I wanted out of it, but you got what you wanted. So, like, I did the deed, and I did it fucking good. So, you know. Is that cornball? Is that, is that, is that cornball character to, to, to even come out and say, you know what, me and XYZ, we, we screwed the same girls? and Or, or, or you, I you know, mean, listen. is that just uncouth? Um, I think it's corny. That's my personal opinion on it. Um, I also think that as human beings, like I said earlier in this interview, that we are all sexual beings, our mothers, our sisters, our daughters, our sons. Um, If you put beautiful women and rich, famous celebrity men that we see on TV all the time that are very like enticing, right? We have crushes on them. You see a woman on TV, you're just like, wow, man, I would love to fuck her, right? So, and vi- vice versa, regular guys in a room with a bunch of celebrity, beautiful women. Everybody's gonna fuck everybody. It's just how it is. It's natural to be attracted to um, successful, good looking people. It's just how it is. So, like, when you have a bunch of celebrities in the room, men and women, they're going to all fuck each other. Mm. That's why all celebrities fuck each other. Mm. It's not, I mean, listen, if that was a secret, it's not a secret now because I said it on the show. Everybody fucks each other. So why is it Why is it the shaming of the woman? And, uh, and, you know, and I hope that we tackle <clears throat> things like this on the Amber Rose show that's premiering July 8th on VH1. Yes, 11 o'clock p.m. 11 o'clock p.m. You know, will we tackle stuff like this, and 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 will will there be a push for for topics like this to say, you know what? Listen, yes. you know what? Hey, just like you guys uh, sleep around, we sleep around, and guess what? If you sleep if you sleep around, you have to walk in the in the. In, well, in the it's chain. not that we even sleep around. What I want you guys to understand is right, and what I said at my slut walk last year, I was called a slut when I was a virgin Damn. for the simple fact that I was beautiful and I hung out with guys. I hung out with all the boys. I grew up in Philly. I played wall ball and stick ball. That was my thing. I was really into sports. And, like, I liked to hang with the guys. I really wasn't in the double dutch like that. So I was always with the boys, right? 
So it was like, gosh, she a hoe. I know all them boys be feeling on her butt. I know da 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 And it really was not like that for me. I was a late bloomer compared to all my friends. Um, so being called a slut, like I said before, just comes from a very insecure place from men and women to down another woman, another woman because she's confident. When I was around the boys, I was confident. I was good at wall ball. I can hang, I can give them a hug. Like, oh man, we killed that shit. Like, we won the game, you know? And it was never anything sexual during that time. And it's still like that for me because I am friends with a lot of men. Mm -hmm. My whole team is men. I'm a feminist and my entire team is men, mm -hmm. right? Um, Am I fucking any of them? No, I'm not. Would people assume that I po possibly could be? Yeah, because they look at me in a sexual way. They think I just fucking have orgies all day, and that's really not my life. That's their perception. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Sergeant No Q Review, Amber Rose, the, the, the lovely Amber Rose is here mm -hmm. with us. So you know what? Hey, listen, you, you know who knows the next time you're going to be here, so let's, I got to get off all my stuff. Okay. So, so you know, I, I actually read the book, you know, How to Be a Bad Bitch, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I was just checking out this whole idea of, 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 of a date with you, mm -hmm. you know, and, and um, you know, in, in the book, you know, you, you know, you like bowling, like a movie. What, what's, an, what's an ideal night out with you and, 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 and the like? You know, should should you know you do? Should you pick one of us to say, you know, I want to fuck you? What's your number? Like, what, 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 <laughs> That's what, so cute. Who would be the ideal night? You know, like as a, a great guy. Um, a great guy. Um, I would say someone that you know treats me like a lady. You know, I do all the Steve Harvey shit, the opening the doors and everything. I love that. You know, I still, I really do love that. Um, I if you pick me up for a date, I would love flowers. Um, I would love for you to open my door. Open the door into the restaurant, um, pull my chair out. You know, stuff like that goes a long way with me. Um, you know, just, just a, a all-around nice guy. And for me, I'll respect you more if you're honest. If if you if you sell me a dream and I find out that you're just lying, I, it's just like, you didn't have to do that. You could have just said you were talking to five other girls and I would have been, That's give me it. the That's option to... To either take that or not. What about if you're a dude that you know financially you're not, you know, in that realm? You know, you make twenty thousand dollars. No, 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 that's, that's too low. That's too low. Yeah, okay, well, give me like a more reasonable price. That's, that's bro. not reasonable. Like eighty, eighty k for you? No. No. Twenty five. No. You say twenty five a year? Yeah, no, twenty five no. a year. Honey, honey, k. A hundred k a year? Yeah. No, baby, I'm sorry. You know what? But that's superficial. No, it's not. It's my personal preference. Mm. I, I, I make what way more than... What if I have a great than, personality? What if, what if, what if, what if I, I understand that. Chairs and the, 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 chair. the difference is that I, my personal preference, I don't want to have to take care of a man. I want somebody that's on my level mm. that either makes as much as me or more. That's just a personal preference. Um, It, it would be hard to date a regular guy because I would pay for everything and it would turn me off. Mm. That's honest. Hey man, on that don't Lando, we struck out. Yeah. And um twenty thousand. Twenty thousand a year, sorry. <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> the Amber Rose show. July seventh is the premiere, uh, uh at eleven PM. Let, let me just tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> let me just tell you something. Sorry, guys. I, I honestly speaking, you know, um <laughs> you know, I think that this show is gonna be a, a, a just take off and, 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 and with the environment that you have it in at the time you have it in, it's gonna be uh, uh up for some honest talk. Because sure. you're an honest person, mm -hmm. you know. Very, yeah, I am. You know? Yeah, thank you for noticing that. Yeah, I appreciate it. I, 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 I was gonna get into the whole idea of, you know, how do you break it down to you that hey, I, I got five girls on the side, but I really like you. Yeah, I mean, can I answer if we have time to answer? Come that? on, we got time. Okay, um, you have to respect that because he's giving you an option to say yes or no. Should have met you like two years ago. Yeah, I mean, I actually, I was talking to a guy, and he was just like, Amber, wow, I really, really like you. And he was taking me out, and everything was, like, cool. And then it was like, you know, um, I, I'm sorry, I'm lying. He told me initially. Mm -hmm. He said that, hey. Got a I'm, light basketball team? You got, huh? like a, you, got, you got, like, a starting five? No, no, he wasn't a basketball player. No, you don't miss any. Oh, he had, he had like, five other girls. Oh, no, 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 yeah, it wasn't five. It was one other girl, and he was talking to her. And he was like, listen, I'm, I'm talking to this one girl, but, you know, I, I'm talking to you too because I like you as well. And I'm just, you know, I'm just getting to know you guys. And I'm like, this is fucking cool because 
I know what's going on, mm -hmm. right? So it's like you're giving me the opportunity to say like, because when you date somebody, you're getting to know them. That's all dating is. Mm -hmm. Um, if he told me he was dating five girls, I still would have been cool with it Dang. because we're not in a relationship. And if we got to a point where it was just like we really had strong feelings for each other, I would expect the man to then come to me and say, I just want to be with you. Mm. I don't want to be with these other. I shouldn't have to go to you and say, hey, by the way, you're still talking to those other girls or like, you know, I'm the t I would never say that anyway because I have too much pride. But um, yeah. We'll pick this up next time. It's All right. There is the next time. <laughs>